Hello. A couple of friends and I are getting together to do a pocket exchange or sort of like a gift swap, but with pockets. We have two options. We can either do an 18th century historical-ish style pocket or a utility pocket with like special compartments and loops and fancy stuff like that. Obviously, I'm going to do the 18th century version and obviously, being me, I'm going to make it as complicated and chaotic as possible. The person that I got for the exchange is Jeanette of A Perfect Touch and I've been told that her favorite colors include all of them, so I'm gonna make that happen. The good news is that pockets in general are very easy to make, and I'm going to be using a really professional, really well thought out pattern made out of wrapping paper. Before I got started, I wanted to have a look at some existing patchwork pockets. There are so many different ones out there, including some that have such random pieces of fabric that I really wonder what the maker was up to. But in the end, I'm going to be loosely basing mine on one of the ones in the Smithsonian. I quickly drew out some squares of my pattern to get an idea of how many fabrics I would need. I didn't want to repeat any fabrics even once because why would I do something sensible like that? So I wanted to be sure I had enough scraps. This was a ridiculous concern because of course I have enough scraps. I mean, look. Good morning. Um, my camera is being an actual jerk, so you get to have some really amazing phone footage. I got quite a bit of work done on the pocket last night. I did not film the embroidery portion because I hate embroidery. Not very good at it. I don't really have the patience, which is weird because like I can totally stitch a shirt 
a hand with tiny stitches any day, but embroidery? Mm -mm, don't like it. So it's good that I'm doing embroidery, and it's also good that I hate quilting and I'm doing a patchwork pocket. Why are you the way that you are? I went with some shapes that I found in my 18th century embroidery book, um, and they look kind of like little clovers because I have very limited uh, colors of my silk embroidery floss. And I was like, well, it's a rainbow. We can do clovers. That makes sense, right? Anyway, I've got that. I've got her initials and the year on there. And it's really, it's really not that bad. Like, considering I hate embroidery and suck at it. I can't wait for her to get this. I can't wait to possibly make my own because I'm a little bit obsessed with this. And uh, yeah, let's get back to work. Finishing the pocket was super simple. I bound the edges with more cotton feeder shim, then used the same binding to make a drawstring casing at the top. I pulled through a waist tape, then stitched on my label, and voila! Chaotic rainbow pocket. Honestly, I'm really thrilled with how it came out, even with my wonky embroidery. I hope Jeanette loves it as much as I do. Be sure to pop over to her channel to find out what she thinks. I'm just cranky, I forgot to fill the pocket with a bunch of different tea before mailing it. At least I know I can fit a phone and a hand in there, so that's probably good, right? One eternity later. Hello again. It's about a little bit under two months since I filmed the making of my pocket, and this is not a reflection on the person who sent me theirs, it's just that I had a bunch of other stuff going on and I haven't had a chance to open it. It's been driving me crazy because it's just been sitting here in my office waiting, looking at me like, hey, hello, remember me? So, the person who got me in this swap was and I'm really sorry if I say this wrong, was Ankrich from Eagle and Rue, and I will link her as well as everyone else taking part in the swap down below. So, box. Ooh, there's a note. Note. Greetings, Kate. Included in your package are two pockets and some scrap silk taffeta. Ooh. I do hope you enjoy your pockets made with love. Ankrich from Eagle and Rue. I'm sure I'm going to love these. I got two. I feel like a slacker now. Oh my goodness. You guys. Look at this. It's embroidered. That's beautiful. I, um, that's really lovely. Look at that. Are we gonna focus? No? Okay. This is really, really pretty. Okay, so if that one's so nice, what's the next one going to do? Are you kidding? It's also embroidered. Look how pretty. I don't have anything this nice. My pocket is made out of a scrap bum. Thank you so much. And then she said there's scrap silk in here. Oh my gosh. So the scrap silk she sent is, it looks like a rust and green shot silk. I will be enjoying this immensely. Thank you so much for these really beautiful things. I got two. They're so pretty. Well, now that I know that I'm 100% a slacker, this was really fun. It was nice to see everyone get the same general instructions with sort of general parameters and then do their own thing with it. I'm so excited to see everyone else's um, pieces. I know there's around 30 participants in this whole swap thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you will go and check out all of my friends' various makes because I know that with this many projects, there's going to be a lot of really amazing things. So I'll link everybody down below. I'll make a playlist and I think other people are making playlists too. And hopefully by the time I do another video, my voice will not be doing this nonsense. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to film and you are making an awful lot of noise, so can we not? Madam? Oh, good. Reinforcements. Thanks very much, Aiko.